Hello everybody. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Julia and this is Yoga with Normal Public Library. If you are new to yoga, welcome. I'm always happy to have beginners in my classes. If you are a return student, welcome back. I am delighted you decided to come back today. Today we are going to be working on upper back and shoulders. So if you have a yoga strap, um, go ahead and get it. If you do not have a yoga strap, that is okay. Something you could use instead would be a kitchen towel or perhaps a belt. But go ahead and get that and set it aside. We will use it later. So we will begin seated. Make yourself comfortable sitting cross-legged or with legs extended. Close your eyes. We are going to take a few moments to just sit and Letting go of whatever you are worried about, shifting that focus and that awareness to your breath and to your body. Taking deeper inhales, taking longer exhales, slowing your breath down. making each part of your breath full and complete. Now take a moment Check in with how you're feeling today. And we'll take a couple more breaths right here. And then with your next exhale, let your chin drop down to your chest. Inhale, lift your chin and look up. Exhale, chin to chest. Again, inhale and look up. Exhale, chin to chest. One more time. Inhale and look up. Exhale, chin to chest. And then inhale, roll your right ear over your right shoulder. We're going to hold here for a few breaths. Press your left fingertips off to the side if you wish. And also turn your nose to your shoulder if you wish. Exhale, chin to chest. And inhale and roll the left ear over the left shoulder, extending the right fingertips off to the side. And then nose to shoulder if you wish. And then with an exhale, chin to chest. And inhale, lift your head up to neutral. Exhale here. And now inhale, lift your hands up. Let your fingertips come together at the top, looking up and then hands down as you exhale. Do that again, inhale up. Exhale down. And once more like this, inhale up and exhale down. And now inhale up, exhale into a twist to the right, left hand on your right knee, turning to look over your shoulder, holding here for a couple of breaths. And 
and then release face forward inhale lift your hands again and then we'll exhale and twist to the left forward inhale lift your hands up and then we're gonna do a side stretch so exhale right hand to the floor reach and extend through your left hand and then inhale right hand up we'll exhale and switch left hand to the mat and reach and extend with the right hand hand back up we'll exhale both hands to the floor in front of you forehead to the floor as well relax nice deep breaths Okay, we'll inhale, come back up, walking the hands in, sitting back up, and then from here we're going to come onto hands and knees into tabletop position. So wrists beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips, back neutral. We're going to do a few different things from here, starting from this tabletop. So we'll begin with cat and cow. So we're going to inhale, let your belly drop towards the mat, tilting the hips up, looking up. Exhale. Press into your hands and knees, arch your back. And then inhale, sinking into cow. Exhale, press into cat. Inhale into cow. Exhale into cat. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And last one. Inhale. And exhale. And now we're back to table pose. We're going to go from side to side. So inhale at the center. Exhale, look over your right shoulder towards your right hip. Inhale back. Exhale, looking over the left shoulder towards the left hip. Inhale back. We'll exhale to the right. Inhale back. Exhale to the left. Inhale back. Exhale to the right. Inhale back. Exhale to the left. Inhale back. Last one. Exhale to the right. Inhale back. And exhale to the left. Inhale back. Okay, from here we're going to do some spinal balance. So we'll begin by lifting the right hand off the mat, extend through your fingers, and then when you're ready, extend that left leg, toes to the floor if you wish. The foot can also come up off the floor, reaching from fingertip through the sole of your foot, which is flexed. All right, we'll set that down. We're gonna switch sides, beginning with just the left hand. Right leg extended when you're ready, maybe lifting the right leg up. All right, 
we'll set that down. We're gonna switch right arm with the left leg. And we'll set that down. Left arm with the right leg. Last time, right arm, left leg. And down. Last one, left arm, right leg. All right, relax. And now we're going to come into puppy dog pose. So take your hands, walk them out forward, like downward dog, but we have the knees on the mat, hips are high, forehead can come to the floor. If you wish, we're going to hold here for a few breaths. forehead off the floor so it's between the upper arms we will do thread the needle next we'll take the right arm thread it underneath your left arm you're going to rest on your right shoulder and the right side of your head once you're here you can take that left hand and walk it away from you your weight should be in your knees and that bottom shoulder rather than the side of your head into the left palm, off your right shoulder, you're going to take a breath at the center in puppy dog pose, and then we'll switch sides, left arm threads underneath the right, resting on the left shoulder and the left side of your head, and once you're down, take that right hand and walk it away from you. left shoulder. We'll sit back in child's pose, forehead to the floor, taking some deep breaths. Relaxing through the neck and shoulders. Thank you. 
Time to do some backbending poses from here. So we'll begin with baby cobras, taking your hands below your shoulders. Make your elbows draw them into your sides. Tops of the feet are pressing into the mat. With an inhale, you're gonna press into the hands. Come up just enough to finish your breath. And then exhale, come down. Again, inhale. Exhale. One side, extend your arms down your side, take a couple of breaths. And bring your head back to center. Locust pose, turn the palms so they are up if they're not already. Draw your big toes together with your inhale, lift everything up off the floor. We're extending through the crown of the head, extending through the fingers, and extending through the toes. Making yourself nice and long. chest expansion if you want to. Fasten your hands together, face of your spine. Roll the shoulder blades together, big toes together. Inhale, lift everything up once again. into steel, pressing into the hands once more, lifting the elbow back the mat, scooting the hands over to the corners of your mat. to the mat. 
first. And then press your hands into the floor. We're gonna press back into child's pose. And this time with child's pose, maybe you'd like to take those hands back alongside your legs and bring the crown of your head to the floor. If you don't like that, you can do regular child's pose, arms extended in front of you. hands to the floor, press into the floor, so you can come up to sitting. We are going to do some shoulder stretches next, so it really doesn't matter how you sit. Um, Cross-legged is fine, whatever is comfortable. We're going to start with eagle arms. Take your hands, press them away from yourself, and as you do that, you're going to feel all the muscles in your arms engage here. With the active arms, you're going to bring them together at the center, crossing right over left, and now turn your palms towards each other. You may be holding onto your forearm, you might have your wrist, you might be fingertip to palm, wherever you are. Move your elbows up a little higher. Take some deep breaths. your arms, relax, take a breath, inhale, and exhale. We will take the arms out once more for the other side. So this time we have the left arm on top, we're turning the palms together, squeeze the elbows in, lift them up. Take a breath, inhale, and exhale. Next is going to be cow face pose. We're going to use the strap for that. So I'm going to turn around, see what I'm doing. I'm going to start with the strap in the right hand. So strap is in your right hand. Extend that right hand up with the strap hanging down your back. Bend your elbow, fist to the nape of your neck. Now the left hand comes behind. Find your strap and hold on. And now you can use the strap to help bring your hands a little closer together. While you're doing this, you want to make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. Good posture. Don't pitch your forward. And also try to keep your chin from dropping to your chest. In this case, we want to be looking straight ahead. Maintaining your good posture. 
breath that you're still taking your deep breaths. them into your left side. Get a light stretch across the top of the opposite shoulder. So across the top of the right shoulder. them in front of you, turning the palms away. up, trying to keep the shoulders relaxed while the hands press up. And then with an exhale, bend your elbows, hands cradle the back of your head, you're going to turn towards your left knee. center and then turn towards the right knee. All right, turn back to center. We'll release the hands from behind your head. We'll take one more breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, we're gonna lie down. Keep the strap handy, we're going to use it. So, extending your legs out on the floor, holding on to your strap, bend your right leg, take the strap around the sole of your foot with each end in one hand. You're gonna use your strap to bend your knee, 
nice and deep. So getting a good stretch through the right hip here. Bend your leg so the leg is straight. The sole of the foot is now pressing up towards the ceiling. Stretching through the back of the leg, maybe drawing the leg a little bit closer to you. center, take a strap in your left hand, you're going to bring that right leg over to the left, extend your right arm out, twisting. to begin with, knee is bent, use the strap to stretch through that left hip. you a little bit, stretching through the back of your leg. to the left, keeping that right hip down on the floor. Right. 
try to center and bend your knee, take the strap off your foot. We'll set the strap aside for now. Bend both knees for bridge pose. So the feet on the mat, hands on the mat, palms down. Set your feet about hips width apart. You're going to press down through your feet, and as you inhale, lift your hips up high. Press them nice and high, holding here, taking deep breaths.
taking deeper breaths. Making small movements back into your fingers, your toes, pulling your wrists and your ankles, and gradually waking your body back up. When you're ready, turn onto your side. Take a couple of breaths here before pushing up to sitting. Thank you all for joining me today. Be well.